Well, it's me, your boomer consumer, and I uh, am doing more and more videos about audio gear and especially affordable audio. And I wanted to set up a test bench that I could use as a reference when I'm comparing one device to another, etc. Could be speakers, it could be headphones, it could be DACs, a lot of different uh, things. But I needed some reference point as to something sounds better or doesn't sound as good. And I have this older Windows laptop. It's not super old, but I think it's like four or five years old. An Asus UX501. I really wasn't doing anything with it. And so, you know, I, I thought, you know what? Let me turn this in to a nice compact stereo system. And I had to accomplish several different things, not only to be able to get really good sound out of it, but also to be able to drive speakers that do not have their own built-in amplifiers. I needed a amplifier, I needed a headphone amplifier, I needed a good DAC, and we're gonna go over all these items in this video. And really in Hi-Fi, it boils down to three different basic things. Your source, your electronics, and then your choice of speakers. And when you put a system together, ultimately it will have its own unique voice. And that's what I attempted to do here and do it affordably to boot. So I wanted to share some of these things with you. Now for the source, I have the Amazon Music HD uh, unlimited subscription. Most of the music is gonna be C CD quality, that 16 bit, 44.1 kilohertz sample rate, which is absolutely fine. I think for most people, uh, CD quality is you know really, really excellent. Bluetooth, uh, streaming music over Bluetooth generally tends to be lo uh, lossy and just doesn't sound quite as good. We start off with good quality source material. Now you could add an external optical drive and, and actually play CDs through here. I didn't go that far, but you could do that. And I think you can pick those up around 30 or 40 bucks and use it as more or less as a transport because we're going to actually use an external DAC. But anyhow, so that's where we have the, uh, the laptop and it's running the software. You could use Rune. There's a lot of other applications out there, but you know, definitely want to get HD quality music on these. And so that's kind of the first step is Having your source material could be RIP uh, CDs, FLAC files, a lot of different formats, but have that source ready to go. And that's what we're using the laptop for, uh, to stream HD quality music. But we're not going to use is the internal DAC in the laptop. And the reason we're not going to do that is inside of this thing, is there's no way to put it. It is truly an electrical firestorm going on there. The internal DACs, uh, which is, and by the way, a DAC is a digital analog converter. Manufacturers of PCs say, you know, make it just good enough. But you're getting a lot of jitter. You're getting a lot of interference from power supplies. You got a lot of stuff going on here. This is not the ideal scenario. Just simply plugging in a pair of powered speakers. Yes, it will sound infinitely better than probably most of your, quote, computer speakers. But this will definitely make a major difference. And we're going to go over that in just a minute. We're going to cover the electronics. Okay, so this is the electronics. And we're going to start with the external DAC because everything kind of hinges on it. Now, you can pick one of these up. They're around 100 bucks. I have a uh, affiliate link down below if you're interested in picking one up. But this is the SHIT, that's S-C-H-I-I-T, Modi 3. So, yeah, silly name, but uh, hopefully... It would get upset because I said that word, but this is an excellent little DAC. And I did a lot of research before I picked one up. It had to be affordable. And these sell for around a hundred bucks. And it had to work very, very well. And it's capable of up to 24 bit, 192 kilohertz sampling rate. And so that's very, very good. And it I'm going to tell you what, it absolutely makes a Nice improvement over the internal DAC, whether the one in your phone, your tablet, your PC. It just makes quite a bit of difference. Music sounds clearer. It's got more body to it. 
It doesn't sound as muddy. I highly recommend this. And this simply connects via USB to the laptop. And then it has a line output on the back. Uh, or I should say, this is the DAC. And this has a line output. And that is going into my headphone amplifier. And this is the shit audio again. And this is the Magni 3 headphone amplifier. And you'll see there's a volume control. And the thing about this headphone amplifier is, is it could drive really any kind of headphone. It supplies up to 2.8 watts. You can also use it as a pre-amplifier because there's your volume control. And it also has a line out. So we go out of the... DAC into the Magni 3. And this is kind of referred to as what's called a shit stack, but I'm, we're not, we won't go there. Because you can actually get the Loki, which is like an equalizer that also can go into the stack. I'm not really going to deal with that right now, but there you have it. So this allows me to bypass the internal DAC of the laptop, giving me a much higher quality DAC. And then I can then audition headphones very, very nicely and hear music in very high quality out of this source, the laptop. But we needed to go a step further. And that is because not you could plug powered speakers directly into either the DAC by itself and, you know, um, the Edifier, the what the R1280 uh, Ts, the TSs, the D, uh, they're all going to sound fantastic just using the DAC alone and plugging those into there. But because I want to review more than just powered speakers, I also knew I was going to need an amplifier. Or this is the um, BT20A-S. This is a mini power amplifier. You can see on here we have controls for power off and on, bass, treble, and the volume control is actually an integrated amplifier capable of about 50 watts per channel with an eight ohm speaker, 100 with a four ohm. Believe me, it's, it works fantastic. It also has Bluetooth, so you could stream from your phone, your tablet, whatever, directly to the integrated amp. And then you can use the choice of speakers that you want, whether you want to go powered or passive. For my reference speakers, I'm using the Klipsch, um, it's the R41Ms. We're gonna talk about those in just a minute. But this makes a great combination by having the external DAC, feeding the headphone ampli amplifier, and then we're outputting from here into the Fosse Audio Integrated Amplifier, which literally can fit in the palm of your hand, but yet produces really outstanding sound. Next, I wanted to get a set of speakers that I could use as a baseline. In other words, something I could compare others to. And I really didn't think powered uh, speakers would be a great way to start the baseline because their amplifiers, amplifiers can actually change the the actual sound of the music. Some of them are more uh, top heavy in the in, in the in the uh, treble. Some are more muddied in the bass. I mean, there's a lot of difference between uh, amplifiers. Speaking of which, this Fosse uh, audio amplifier. Uh, here, uh, that is a, called a Class D amplifier, and I was kind of concerned because I've heard all these negative things about Class D, but it turns out they're actually quite good. Um, these have very high rate. I can't brag enough about these little integrated amplifiers. Back to the clips, back to the clips. You have a one inch tweeter, but it's an aluminum tweeter. This is what they call the Tractix, Tractrix horn, and the idea is this burst the high frequencies to you. And then there is a four inch, what they call spun copper woofer. I don't really think it's real copper, but uh, maybe, uh, maybe aluminum with a copper. I don't know for sure, but I do know that it sounds pretty good. This is a MDF material. And then there is a ebony wrap on, vinyl wrap on here. It looks like the real deal. They did a fantastic job. A nice feature is there's a, a cover, a grill cover on here that's magnetic rather than having little clips. And that's really nice. And then if you go to the back, we'll turn this around here. Uh, you have a set of uh, proper five-way binding posts 
And then you have your base reflex port on the back as well. You'll notice that there's a little like keyhole notch here to hang it on the wall. Why you would do that with a base reflex port is beyond me. You really, I would not recommend that you set it up that way. Uh, but you could. Of course, you can use banana plugs, whatever, with that. Nice and nice and soft. There's uh, some rubber feet on the bottom to kind of isolate it against vibration. As far as the sound goes, this is the first pair of Klipsch speakers I've owned. They're a lively speaker, really heavy in the, the highs and uh, more so in the mid-range. The bass, of course, you can't expect a lot out of a four inch woofer, but when you're near field, in other words, you're listening very closely to the source, which I am, this sounds quite, quite good. Uh, I would recommend if you use these in a regular home uh, stereo setup, you probably at least add a subwoofer in a combination of these and <laughs> you're gonna get killer sound. There's other models, that's the R51, and then of course they have the, uh, what, the R, uh, R600 series, which will probably be my next major speaker purchase at some time. But these sound fantastic. It's a very lively sound, a great presentation, the separation, um, is just very, very good on these. You want to tow these in so that you kind of, you know, cross over with them. But they sound really, really good. These sell for about, uh, in fact, they're, they're on sale right now for $99 a pair. Again, I have the uh, link down below. Uh, the Fosse Audio, let me move this out of the way, uh, sells for $79. Bucks. And I'll tell you, it's a great, if you want to have, a, again, all you need is a pair of speakers and this and your phone or tablet, whatever, you can Bluetooth directly to these and off you go. Definitely get you this Modi 3 DAC before you do anything else. Get that DAC. You can use it with powered speakers. You can use it as part in conjunction with the integrated amp. And then you got your choice whether to go powered or passive. These are passive, they don't have their own amplifiers. So I think next what I'll do is just give you a quick demo of the sound quality uh, again, this is being recorded through a Rode VideoMic Pro, but you, you'll get kind of an overall idea. So um, let's do the demo and then I'll be right back. These really sound amazing. These speakers, the, the whole system together is just light years beyond just plugging in a simple headphones into your laptop or a simple pair of power speakers. It's much more rich, it's much more vibrant. You have more options with a system like this. So what I've got, uh, it's like 200, under $300 on this little set setup right here. And then say 400 bucks. And I've turned this laptop into a media streamer um, you can have your own music library on here again for maybe 30 bucks more. You could add a CD player to it. If you have a turntable with a, uh, with its own, uh, phono, uh, amp preamp, uh, you could plug that into and run a turntable off of it. You can Bluetooth into it. It's extremely versatile setup. And that's how I turned a laptop into a really nice stereo system. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.